You can now authenticate and authorize OCI IAM users with the autonomous database on shared infrastructure. And there's two ways a user can access the autonomous database. One is using IAM database password authentication. It's very similar to how it's done with the Active Directory integration that exists today. Uh, in this case, IAM will store the password verifier to be retrieved by the autonomous database. The second is a brand new token-based authentication, where the IAM user authenticates themselves to IAM and gets a database token that is then sent to the autonomous database for access. Authorization takes place uh, in two places. One is in uh, through an IAM policy uh, for the token-based access, and then through database schema and role mappings to IAM users and groups, because the OCI IAM user still has to land in a database schema uh, for access to be granted. And when you do this, you improve security because the users are now centrally managed in IAM versus in separately in each database. Uh, when a user leaves an organization, their access is terminated in one place versus having to look for their access in every single database. You get to centralize your account policies in IAM. So you can have lockout and expiration all handled uh, essentially in a single location so hackers don't have the opportunity to try different attacks on every database. The credentials are managed locally in a single place instead of in different places. And this uh, creates a nice separation of duties between the database administrator and the things they need to do in the database and user management, which is handled in IAM. Normally, security requirements improve security and move, means more work. But from the DBA perspective, it actually reduces uh, the work, uh, reduces the user management aspect. Uh, no more account-related service requests. I forgot my password. My password expired, things like that. Uh, no need to uh, create and alter and drop users every time an, uh, uh, an employee joins, moves, or leaves an organization that needs database access. So it reduces the chance of these zombie or rogue user accounts that are left over uh, that are prime uh, targets for hackers. And this uh, IAM single sign-on token access. This is uh, you can use this, uh, the OCI user can use the same credentials. Uh, uh, that they use for other OCI services like Object Store to now access the autonomous database. And this helps uh, using the IAM uh, database password helps simplify moving existing applications to be able to use the autonomous database. Uh, tools like uh, uh, two tier tools like SQL Plus, other uh, applications, uh, they just need to switch to using the IAM username and IAM. Uh, database password uh, to uh, instead of the database username and password to access the autonomous database and at the same time I am going to centrally manage this. Uh, there's a new feature that comes along with this which removes a wallet requirement to access ADBS when you're using one-way TLS. And I am integration with autonomous database um, uh, allows for gradual password rollover so you can change your application password in I am and uh, without having to take uh, downtime for your application. Now this was a high-level overview. Uh, there are additional videos that talk about the operational flow of the two different ways to access a database. A configuration overview, showing the big pieces that need to be configured to allow this to the integration to work. And then specific videos on how to configure the uh, enable autonomous database for this integration. And uh, configuring OCI IAM and then uh, some videos on end-user client configurations for both uh, access scenarios.